All right. Well, hi, Derek. My name is Shanique with Shadow and Act. How are you today? I am blessed. I am thankful and glad to speak with you. I love that. So let's get started. Um, yeah. Where would you say that we meet your character, Chuck Bell, in episode one versus where we meet him by the end of the season? Oh, where do we meet Chuck? <clears throat> well, we meet Chuck. Um, uh, first of all, Chuck Bell is a former um, pro basketball player. Uh, he coaches his son's basketball team. He, what I love about him, he's also a present dad. So um, there's a lot of family dynamics that is happening. Um, uh, <clears throat> one of the hurdles uh, for Chuck Bell is not so much coaching others as learning how to coach himself. Mm. So the arc uh, really goes from him coaching everyone else and then now him needing to be coached. And so uh, <clears throat> that's what I, or how I would describe him. Absolutely. And I know fatherhood and just the family in general is a huge theme of this series, but we don't often get to see coming of age stories told from the black male perspective. Why is a story like the crossover so important in terms of that representation? Oh, boy. Uh, why I think uh, just that theme coming of age uh, is important is uh, first I'd like to, you know, acknowledge Kwame Alexander for creating a world uh, and a story and being relentless to uh, studios to produce the story. And because of him, we're here. And I know, you know, uh, storytellers have said that, but by him being relentless, um, this story I say is in the right time with the right cast saying the right thing and doing the right thing. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting because I grew up watching coming of age stories, but it wasn't until I got to be older that I realized that there were, there were limited narratives where I thought I saw, you know, kids, you know, like, like me, um, why I love that basketball is a part of the theme is that basketball is is not any it's not Rucker Rucker Park. It's a global sport. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting to see a family behind that sport. And hopefully that crossover is one of those uh, those stories, one of those casts that, that gets to navigate uh, uh, that coming of age and you know basketball players are loved all around the world but now like stories like crossover now you're getting to see what is their soul because Chuck Bell is described as the soul mom is the brains and the boys is the heart so this is why I think is important and culturally and in our climate yeah and it definitely going in I didn't expect for it to tug on my heartstrings like it did. Mm, I definitely yeah. shed a lot of tears. <laughs> um, mm. But um, without giving too much away, the crossover also touches on the importance of health, particularly for the black male. What did you learn from your character, Chuck, in regard to that? And what message do you hope that um, sends to those that are watching? Wow. But one of the first messaging that come to my heart um, regarding health is the word scare or fear. Um, I heard a, I heard this man say people don't have a, a fear of, of, let's say, flying. They have a fear of dying. Mm. And so <clears throat> um, uh, I think that there is this this rigor that has been developed in a lot of our communities where I can handle it, but you really can't. So I think health uh, is important, uh, but it's also important to know that there are others that have found outlets. And hopefully that Chuck 
<clears throat> and cross over is a bridge to others that may be dealing with, with symptoms and may feel like they feel like there's no outlets, there's no no other resources where you see a guy you can relate to and go like, oh, uh, this guy made it to the top, but he's also uh, potentially um, dealing with his <laughs> dealing with a potential bottom. So just just um, to be an outlet, to be a voice. And I hear more men. Uh, I don't know who, but I wouldn't quote him, but I, I, I don't know if it was an athlete, rapper, actor, but I heard them just so casually say my therapist, where I never heard my uncles talk about it. Now, I'm not saying people didn't go, but it's so common now. You know, um, I have somebody that I talk to. I have somebody that I heal with. And I think that's a, an important part. I love that. Well, hats off to you. Um, it's a beautiful series. And thank you for your time today. Thank you.